14, Emma Zeiser. Number 11, Blakely Bullman. Number 17, Ella Santos. Number 13, Ireland Butcher. And number 25, Kaylee Meadows. For the Rochester ladies, the Eagles and Oscars. Number 14, Olivia Powell. Number 15, Abby Darling. Number 18, Keith Dolan. Number 19, Isabel Dunwoody. And number 20, Bailey Freon. And for your starter, a freshman, number 3, Riley Clunger. A sophomore, number 5, Taylor Howard. A freshman, number 10, Kara Strasser. A freshman, number 17, Mia Howshell. A freshman, number 23, Lily Lett. A freshman, number 24, Audrey Coleman. And a freshman, number 25, Kaylee Curtis. That's what the coach of the main group is assisted by Kaylee Ransom. Good evening and welcome from Rochester High School and tonight's TRC matchup between your Rochester Zebras and the visiting McConaughey Braves. We are getting set to go with the JV matchup here. Just got the starters introduced and the judges are in place and we are getting set to go here. We'll have JV and then obviously varsity coming up after that. Val will join me for the varsity contest and we'll uh, talk a little bit more about Rochester Volleyball and what's going on in the program as we move into the pregame for the varsity match. Thanks for tuning in to RTC TV 4 here tonight. Hope you enjoy it. We've got another contest going on with two of our schools playing over at Tippecanoe Valley tonight. The Vikings hosting the Cavaliers from Culver. How does Shell going to get us started here with the serve? Strasser puts it down and starts it off. Zebras with the point. in for another point for the Zebras. 2-0. going to drop in for another point. Well earned. Three-one. 
3-0. How to shell still on the service line for the Zebras. Good start here for the JV. Dug out by How to shell. Good job by Durkis getting that one across. Clevenger with a nice dig. Strasser finds a gap in the McConaughey defense. Makes it 4-0. Good positioning there by the freshman, Dara Strasser. And the short serve off the tape, and McConaughey can't get it back across. Five in a row here for Rochester. How to shell with a nice dig. And that's going to hit the line and the in. Nice hit. Free ball coming from Kanakwa. And that one hit into the net. So the Braves finally pick up a point. Point for the Braves. Oh, I apologize. I'm looking down here through the roster trying to find number 13 for McConaughey. Go from 12 to 14 on both home and away. So I'm not sure who 13 is. I apologize for that. to the net. Serve goes back over to Rochester. Howard back to serve it for the Zebras. And Strasser into the net. Free ball drops. Bit of a mistake there by the Zebras letting that drop. Number 17, Ella Santos serving for the Braves. Rochester leads 7-5 here in set number one of the JV matchup. Santos serves up an ace. Cuts the Zebra lead down to one.
And that's going to be off of the ceiling there. Santos played that one from Bullinger. Might have been going long, but we'll never know. Point for Rochester. And Strasser back to serve for the Zebras. Let hits that one long. <laughs> Kaylee Meadows back to serve. Zebras ahead one. <laughs> that one might have been going long. Good hit by Bullinger. Strasser with a nice dig. Dirk is not able to control that pass. And we are knotted at eight. And Coach Durkis wants a timeout here in set number one for the Zebras. Ironic 8-8 eight, eight at uh, Tippecanoe Valley in set number one as well for Rochester or for Culver and Valley. So out of the Zebra timeout is still Meadows at the serve for McConaughey. And that one is long for Bullinger. And the Braves have their first lead of the evening. And an ace for Meadows. Kaylee Meadows, an outside hitting junior, wearing number 25 for McConaughey. Good job on that overpass by the Braves. And that one's going to be long. Lily Lett goes long. There's a look at the Junior Meadows. 11-8 in favor of McConaughey. Off the ceiling, still alive. And that one hits the antenna. So the Zebra's able to finally break the serve of Meadows. Let back to serve for the Zebras. Find themselves in a two point deficit here. And that one is a point for Rochester. And that one is put down by Zeiser.
Wow. That was a great play right there. And the Zebras get the point. Nice play there by number 13 from McConaughey, getting that in inside the antenna and then over. Really athletic play, but the Zebras get the point. Clevenger back to serve. Zebras trailing by one here in set number one. Too far out there for Durkis to get underneath it cleanly. Zeiser back to serve with a two point lead. And her serve goes into the net. Haley Durkis back to serve now for the Zebras. And she serves an ace, ties it at 13. And two in a row for Durkis. Gives the Zebras back the lead, 14-13. And another one for Durkis. Three in a row now for the freshman. And that one into the net. Still a nice serve sequence there for Durkis. Coming in and serving is number 11. Okay, there it is up there, Alyssa Burner. Nice serve from Burner. But the Zebra is able to get it across and down. Back in how to shell with the serve. And that one's gonna be out. the serve for Rochester. And a couple nice points there for the Zebras. And a timeout called by McConaughey. 1915 here set number one of the JV matchup. Look at the sophomore, Taylor Howard. You can 
continues on the service line for Rochester. Zebra is back in front by four here in set number one of the JV match. And the Braves able to drop that one in, breaking the serve of Howard. Santos back to serve for the Braves. Not able to corral that one too close to the Braves bench. And that will put Darius Strasser on the service line for Rochester. And Meadows back up for the Braves. She was very solid on her first service from Conaqua. And there's only going to be one attempt there for Meadows as they were in the net. Zebras pick up the point, 21-17. Zebra's inching ever so closer here. And Bullinger in off the tip with the kill. And another ace for Bullinger that brings up set point here in set number one for the Zebras. Sorry, that's a little let back there. 23, not 24. And that one's gonna be just outside the line. Conoclaw, one more chance here. Yeah, it should be four. Point for the Zebras and set number one goes to the Zebras, 25-18. Take a look at the last couple of plays there as the Zebras round out and take set number one. So the Zebras lead one set to zero. We'll take a quick break. Come back with set number two of the JV match here in just a moment on RTC TV4. So the Braves going to start off with the serve here in set number two. Good job by Durkis getting that across there. It was tight in the net. And that's going to be a point started off here for 
Rochester. And how to show will start things off from the service line for the Zebras. And a nice serve drop in ace for how to shell. And another one for Mia. Makes the score 3 0. Starting off much the way they did in set number one. Nice job there getting that one across. And Lily Lett with the big hit and the kill. And another one for How to Shell. She's really good at placing that serve right in between the front and back rows. And it just kind of drops off the map for her. And it's really a hard one to play. And that time that one put home by Meadows for the McConaughey point. It's the Braves on the board, 5-1. And they drop another one down, 5-2. And so the Braves answer, get it back to within two. Santos again with the serve for McConaughey. And Lily Lett with the kill. Serve back over to the Zebras, Howard. And that one is wide. And the tip attempt just short for the Braves. And that one's going to drop in. I'm going to say it was tipped, but I think it was still inbounds as well. Meadows back to serve. And a really good set of serves in the first set. Blocked at the net. And Strasser finds an opening in the McConaughey defense, drops it in 
9-4. So the Braves do a nice job, or the uh, Zebras do a nice job of getting the Braves meadow off of the service line. And bowling her into the net. 9-5. And that one just inside the line for the kill. Number two, Lily Maple checking in for the Braves. Sorry, that's number seven, Zoe Moore. I didn't think they'd be putting in a uh, senior in the JV match. Got an email today about a uh, eye exam. I think maybe I'm going to take them up on it. <laughs> the net on the Braves. Twelve six. Olivia Powell checks into the game. How to shell takes a break. That one is a point for the Braves. Eddie Struble gonna check in. the block and down. Braves not able to get that one back across point for Rochester. How to shell going to check back in. And she will take the serve for the Zebras. Rochester leads 14-8, trying to close it out here in set number two over the McConaughey Braves. That is a little bit long on that one by Darling. Good job there, how to shell digging that. Howard not able to get on top of that one. Gives the Braves the point. Ellis Santos back to serve for McConaughey.
And Santos will get the ace. Lily Lutt going to check back into the game. Good look at Santos. Lett with the left hand. Brave somehow roll that back across the net. And that time not able to get it back across. Howard back to serve. And Strasser with a nice kill. Sixteen eleven. And the Braves come back, break the serve. Meadows back for the Braves. Held her pretty much in check from the service line here in set number two. They are able to keep her alive, get that point. Zeiser with the kill for the Braves. Braves back to within three. Nice serve from Meadows. Bullinger able to get it down off the block onto the Makanaqua side. Dara Strasser back to serve for Rochester. And long for Let. Put that one home. Friant checks in for Strasser. Let with the serve. And long on the kill for Bollinger. Zeiser will have the serve with the Braves trailing by four. And toe might have been on the line there. They're going to give it to her. Nineteen sixteen. And an ace. Right over the net and another ace. 
And a timeout for the Zebras. Conoqua back to within one here in set number two. Zeiser with the serve. She has McConaughey back to within one. Three really nice serves in a row. Bowling are able to get that one across and stay on her side there. That was a good play by the freshman. And they're finally able to break the serve of Zeiser. Clevenger back to serve for Rochester. Shell, good dig there by McConaqua. Good job by Greece on that dig. And they're going to uh, give it to Rochester as the Braves were in the net. 22-18. Tape. And that one drops in for the Braves. And the kill from Meadows. Struble with the serve. Good job there by Clevenger getting that dug. Howard, Braves get it tipped back over off the net and a point McConaughey back to within one. And we got a timeout by the Zebras. Conoqua has battled back here, trailing 22-21. Rochester trying to close this one out in two. Braves trying to force a third set here in the JV matchup.
There's Addie Struble. She's going to be serving here when they get resume. And how does Shell able to break the serve? Good job out of the timeout there by the Zebras. Another nice play to get that one across inside. But the Zebra's not able to return it. So McConaughey back to within one. And just able to get that across was Durkis. Strasser. And not able to get it across on the free ball. So match point here for the Zebras. Back to serve is Hadeshell. And we got a timeout before that. Twenty-four twenty-two here in set number two of the JV matchup. Shell trying to close this one out, 24-22. Not able to do it on that one. They still have another opportunity here, 24-23. Santos. Trying to keep McConaughey alive. And they're going to stay alive. And they tie it at 24. So back all square here. Match point is gone. I take that back. I don't know on the win by two on the JV. Let's see what they do here. They're going to say, yep. So set point, I guess, for McConaughey. It's one of the differences between varsity and JV. So set number two goes to the Braves, 25-24. We are all square at one, going to a third and deciding set when we come back on RTC TV4. All right, welcome back here from Rochester. Still going with the JV matchup. Zebras had match point 24-22, and the Braves able to score the last three to force a third set. They take set number 225-24. So we're going to have a winner at the end of this one. Going to 15 only here in set number three. Kind of like the uh, resiliency of the Braves on that in that second set. Mia, how does Shell going to start us off with the serve for the Zebras? And that one into the net. So McConaughey starts off set number three with the first point. A 
Number 13, again, I'm sorry I don't have her on the roster. And that's going to be a kill for Rochester. Howard back to serve for the Zebras. And that one hit into the net by Meadows. Every point amplified here in set number three. Meadows, and that's going to be long point for the Zebras. Howard remains at the service line for Rochester. Nice serve from Howard. Meadows takes a little off of that one, gets that one in. Free ball from the Zebras. Couple free balls in that sequence from Rochester. Not making McConaughey work too hard here. Need to get back in the system here. And that's going to be out. So good job by McConaughey keeping Rochester off balance there for that point. Back to within one. Back to serve is number 17, Santos. The junior wearing the libero jersey for McConaughey. Somehow able to dig that one out of the net. That was a great play by the Braves. Oh, good ball from how to shell, free ball, but the kill goes down 4-2, and the serve goes back over, and Strasser back to serve for Rochester. Left-hander sends it across. Good dig to keep it alive. Little miscommunication by the Zebras. Meadows back to serve now for the Braves. Sends that one off the tape and across. And that one is in. Lett gets that one down just inside the line. That's a big one for the Zebras. And she will be back to serve. Dorn with the block. How to shell gets it across. How to shell and finds the floor. 7 4. Clevenger going to be at the service line. Scoreboard says six. Did I hit two numbers there? Well, I'm going to put it back to six, I guess, until they change it. Again, that's the third time they've been able to get that thing inside of the antenna. 
from in front of the attack line almost to the sideline of the basketball floor. That is just an amazing shot, and they've done it three times now. And then the serve goes into the net. 7-5, and Durkis will be back to serve. And that one drops down for Grice. Struble with the serve and drops it down in front of Clevenger. Great placement. That ties it at seven. Again, McConaughey not giving up here in set number three. And a big one there for Strasser. Out of shell with the serve. Into the net. So after tying it at seven, two big points for Rochester. Take a look at that kill a moment ago from Strasser. That made it 8-7 in favor of the Zebras. And then a ace by Houdeschel makes it 9-7 with a McConaughey timeout on the floor here. It's been an exciting JV matchup between the Braves and the Rochester Zebras. Both teams have battled. We expect uh, probably a lot more of the same coming up in the varsity matchup. I was talking to Val about the varsity between uh, Rochester and McConaughey, and it's been one of those things that it's just a five-setter about every time. So looking forward to another exciting varsity matchup here. The Zebras will talk more about it in the pregame, but they're looking to make it three in a row in conference games if they can get this one. So that one's going to drop wide. So the Braves back to within one. Riley Hare. Serving Strasser off of the outstretched arm of Santos and down. That's a big number when you get to 10 the first in the third set. 10-8. Howard into the net though. And Santos will be back to serve for the Braves. And that went into the net, so we are knotted at 10. So it's going to be a battle to five here, whoever can get there at quickest. Santos. And short. Zebras pick up the 11th point of the set. Dara Strasser back to serve. Left-hander sends it across. The overpass from McConaughey. Strasser 
Conaqua keeps it alive. Free ball across. And the tip goes down. Lily Lett makes it 12-10. And probably a little bit of a miss hit there by Dara. And Meadows back to serve here for McConaughey. If you're the Braves, this is who you want to see on the service line. If you're Rochester, this is not who you want to see on the service line. And they go in two. And a great job by Durkis. Lily Lett going to serve, leading by two. Nice job. She pushes Meadows all the way back to the back line. And now, again, match point for Rochester. Saw McConaughey battle through three match points in set number two to get the win. See if the Zebras can close it out here. Lily Lett with the serve. And that one is going to do it. The Zebras take this one in three. 15-11 in set number three. Take a look at the last couple plays there by the Zebras as they are able to close this one out. And this was the one that finished it off for Rochester. Zebras take the JV matchup in three. They won set one at 25-18. They lost set two 24-25. And they win set three 15-11. We will take a break. Come back with pregame here from Rochester for the varsity matchup in just a moment here on RTC TV4. All right, welcome back here to Rochester High School. We're getting set with the varsity matchup. Val joins me here. How you doing tonight? I'm doing well. I'm noticing looking over there, the student section is not what it usually is, but it's actually I was here on Saturday for the home match against Peru, and it's actually bigger than it was on Saturday, so I guess there's that. But without the football team, not only does that hurt the football team, it <laughs> hurts the student section for the volleyball team. And they all are all masked up. So if anybody's listening and they have a concern about that, they're being good. Yes. yes. So uh, they're trying to preserve that. You can see here on the intro page, the Conaqua Braves coming into tonight's uh, matchup with Rochester. Four and seven on the season, two and three in conference. For the uh, Rochester Zebras, 5-11, and 2-2 uh, two and two in conference, but the last two matches they've had are the two wins that they've had in the conference. Right, and this team has uh, turned, turned around a lot since the Manchester match uh, last Tuesday. They had a team meeting. They drove back from Manchester. There are only two cars in the parking lot, Aaron Leap's car and one of the players' cars. And they were the four seniors met in one of the cars, and they talked for a long time, and then they called Aaron Leap and wanted her to jump in the car, and they talked with her for another half an hour. And they told Aaron Leap, they said, we want to run practice tomorrow, not you. Oh, wow. And, and, and she said, sure. Yeah. And um, ever since then, they played a lot better. They swept Northfield in three. They swept Peru in three. And the key has been serving and serve-receive. Those last two matches against Northfield and Peru, 27 aces, 14 against Northfield, 13 against Peru. And their opponents, only two aces, one each, one each match. So they're serving a lot better and they're passing a lot better. And another thing that they talked about in that one practice they had on Wednesday was attack everything. We need to get some hits even out of system. Because we, if you remember the Southwood match, we talked about that. They, looked, they did not look good out of system. Right. And compared to Southwood, Southwood always plays great out of system. They're the ultimate out of system team. And you could tell Rochester just seemed to be just kind of flustered by it. 
and they, they said they thought they were giving up way too many free balls to Manchester, and she, Coach Aaron Lee wants them to attack everything. And they, they're doing a lot better job. They had 31 kills in the Peru match on Saturday. Eight, but more importantly, eight different players had at least one kill. So it's not just Hughes. Emily Hughes had 11 of the 31. That means you get 20 kills from other players. Um, Kennedy Leap, I thought, played great. She had eight kills. Lexi had four. Uh, Kuskusekis had her usually, you know, three or four dumps. So the the hitting has been spread out a lot better. Well, and, you know, one of the things, too, I noticed, you know, at that Southwood match, you talk about being in system, out of system. Everybody was kind of out of system because they were just, you know, a completely different lineup than what we've yeah. seen. And it looks like they're kind of back to, to where they were you know, prior to the pause. Right. I mean, we were here for the Triton match, and even the CGA match, even though it was a loss, that was a good yeah. CGA team, and I thought they played pretty competitively in that match. And then they came back, and it just seemed like uh, they, they had lost whatever they had. And uh, it just seems like they've, they've they made a lot of strides, but it's really those sen- those four seniors, you know, Bradley, Hughes, uh, Thomas, uh, and who am I forgetting here? Kylie Houston, who have really, you know, they've really taken charge of this team, and they just said, hey, this is our senior year. We're not going to let this season go down the drain. And it's been a much it's been a much improved team since then. I mean, Kylie was her usual self. She had, I think, uh, like 19 digs and 20 serves received against Peru. Yeah. What was interesting in some of those drills they had in those practices after the, Peru, the Manchester match, Aaron Leap took Kylie Houston out of the drills. She does not want Kylie that Kylie was almost taking too much of a responsibility, and she's, she's telling the other players, hey, you got to take that ball. Like, especially coming up, because she wants Kylie to go side to side and cover those back corners, cover the pins, so to speak, uh-huh. and, ha- and have the other girls step up and get those digs. And, you know, I thought Kenzie Bradley played great on Saturday. She had nine digs and getting a lot of, a lot of tip coverage. And, she's really, and, of course, we know Kenzie how fast she is, and she can cover a lot of court. You know, back and forth. I thought Riley Holloway played well. I thought MSLs looked, you know, much better. So, yeah, the, you know, the, the defense played great as well uh, against Peru. Well, as you look down, the upcoming games after tonight, they have uh, another big one on Thursday at North Miami. Uh, should be, you know, should be a winnable game if they can, uh, you know, go down there and play their game. Yeah, the uh, Rochester's North- had North Miami's number for quite a few years now, even when North Miami had. A.D. Hartley and the Bolster sisters, you know, Rochester was even, you know, found a way to beat those teams as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, you know, Coach Lynn trying to build his program back up, but you, you would certainly think Rochester would be the favorite. They got a uh, non-conference game at Lewis Cass on Monday next week. Right. Well, Rochester and also goes to Warsaw for a tournament on Saturday, that big Warsaw invite, which is, I mean, that tournament is absolutely stacked. Yeah. I mean, every year. Yeah. And then uh, the big one here I'm looking at is on uh, Tuesday next week going on the road yeah. at Wabash. Yeah. So, I mean, if they could pick up a win here tonight and if they could pick up a win against North Miami going into Wabash, you know, depending on what they do over the weekend with some momentum. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the timing of the, you know, that Lewis Cass match on Monday night is a makeup from a previous postponement. You wish you didn't have to play Lewis Cass before a con- the night before a conference match, but yeah. that's just the way it turned out. But. Yeah, the Lady Apaches look very strong with Coach Coach Cromer does a great job there. Yeah, still a lot of conference games left in their uh, in their schedule. North Miami, of course, Peconaqua, Wabash. Uh, they've got Valley on the fifth of uh, October, and then they close out with Whitco on the seventh. Yeah, so a sneaky tough Whitco team uh, that used to be among the first matches. Now it's the last one, and you you never want to play. It's always that first match after the Valley match you you wonder about, but. I think Whitco, Whitco's kind of with the two, the Howard uh, sisters. Uh, uh-huh. They're pretty, they're sneaky good. Uh, that's, they're 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 quite a bit improved. So they still have a, a lot to uh, look forward to, and, and you know, like you said, with those four seniors, you know, they understand that this is it, right? This is their senior year. Yeah. They don't want to go out, you know, with a with a whimper. They want to go out with a with a bang and. Uh, they uh, they still have a lot of time to, to make that happen. Right, right. You know, it's the, the whole idea of the you know the the seniors need to take take possession of the team, so to speak. If the if the coach wants it more badly than the players, it's never going to work right, out great. Right. That's yeah, and that's something you 
you can't coach. You mm -hmm. can't coach desire. And if the players just don't have the desire, yeah, that's you know why we've seen a lot of the teams that we cover with the success that they've had because right. you have girls like Haley Kreit, mm -hmm. you know, who are just they want it more than anybody. Right. And you have girls like uh, you know Hughes and Houston. They've got to want it more than anybody. Yeah. And that was when I talked with Emily Hughes after the Peru match. She said, "It's not the volleyball skill that we had to talk about. It was the." It was the leadership and the desire. And even Coach Leap said, I can hit them balls all day long, but it's it's not going to – if they, if they don't want it for themselves badly enough, then it's it's not going to matter. Yeah, and we've seen flashes of that. You know, you go all the way back to the the Pioneer match with, uh, with Rochester where, you know, they took that second set against mm -hmm. the Panthers and – you know, it was it was night and day the energy that they had in that second set, but yeah. it seemed like you know once they got behind, then in the in the third set, it was like oh, you know, kind yeah. of let the air out of the, the ball, so to speak. And but they've got to have that kind of energy right. from it, the players. Right. And they're teenagers, and that happens with not just teenage volleyball players, but all right. teenage athletes. Yeah. They you know, and your your confidence can be a little fragile, and yeah. Yeah. things go bad, and then things go from bad to worse, and you can't turn it around. I mean, that's the difference from you know watching you know professionals play it, well and it's not just the teenagers i mean you do see that from the professionals I yeah mean, you know they'll go through slumps you got professional baseball players that you know all of a sudden they can't see a ball you know and it's just it happens you know it's mm -hmm. it's human nature but i guess the the thing that separates the the good from the great yeah. is how long that stretch lasts yeah you know if they can make that last short period of time they can get back on top. And that's what Pioneer was so good at last year. Even if you got a couple points on them, they would find a way to turn it around quick and limit your momentum, so to speak. And, that, and that's that's so hard to do. But they were just, they were, well, I don't want to make this about Pioneer, but they were just special kids. I mean, Right, just, right. Well, had, and, and even they have their struggles. Yeah. I mean, you know, we were talking last night, you know, Coach Nice called a timeout, took them out in the hall. Literally, yeah, you know. So I asked him afterwards. I said what was said during that, and he goes, "Confidential." Yeah, I, I heard what was said. We can't <laughs> say it on the air. Okay, but uh, it was said quickly and it was said effectively, apparently, because they yeah. came back and different team. Yeah, and, but and he, what he also said is, "Hey, we're starting to make the postseason push now. I mean, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna tighten up the rotations." And yeah, um, again with Rochester, I don't know if that's quite that big of a deal. I think it's it's because. Um, it, you know, you're trying to, you know, you're you're trying to work some of the freshmen, give them some confidence, but at the same time, you know, having to serve, you know, having to to do well for the seniors, you know, to make them right, so that so they can get their opportunity to shine. By the way, Kylie Coleman had five aces against Peru the other night. She has been serving really, really well. Good. We knew about Kylie Houston serving, but Kylie Coleman serving very, very well as well. I think she also had four or five kills. Good. So you look at Kylie. I mean, I don't know if she's. Kylie Coleman, I don't know if she's physically imposing, but, you know, she, she's she got kind of a crafty game about her. She, you know, puts a lot of spin on the ball, finds finds a lot of open spots on the floor. Well, and, you know, I, I think serving is much like hitting a shot in basketball. If mm -hmm. one girl is hitting, mm -hmm. you know, in a basketball game, it just seems like all of a sudden, you know, the, the rim just gets huge. Mm -hmm. And everybody starts hitting. And when, when somebody's struggling, and I think serving – is kind of the same way. When you see it going over and going over and going over, you're like, okay, I can do that. Yeah. And it just kind of contagious, really. And mm -hmm. Now, tonight, you know, this is a, you know, Coach Metcalf does a terrific job at McConaughey year in, year out. I mean, since McConaughey joined the TRC, they've been right there with Rochester. And you can argue that the McConaughey Rochester rivalry has been even better than the Southwood Rochester rivalry in terms of close, close, tight matches between good teams. You know, look for Avery Miller tonight. She's number three. She she is a setter. She is a senior. I think this is her third or fourth year as a setter. She's a very veteran setter, who's going to get the ball to, to where it needs to go. And watch number two, Lily Maple. We've seen Lily on the basketball court. She's right. just a really talented athlete, and she is going to be relied upon a lot for some kills. Taylor Wrestler, another very good uh, senior player. So th this is a, a senior-dominated team, and I it would figure that Rochester won't have it won't be as easy for Rochester this time as. Com Compared to those wins over Northfield and Peru, they don't have uh, heights listed. But isn't Lily somewhere in the neighborhood of six two, if I remember right? Uh, Lily's uh, well, she's a point guard in basketball. I think I would say five nine. Maybe five, there was, who who was I thinking? There was somebody on their basketball team that was really tall. Maybe she doesn't play volleyball, but I thought it was Lily. But mm -hmm. I could be wrong. 
But, you know, you know McConaughey had that match against Valley earlier this year. They won the first set, but then lost in four. Um, obviously, you know, they've only played, what, 11 times, which is not a lot of matches. Of course, they were on COVID pause for a long time. I mean, like three weeks. Yeah, was they, it? they were out of school. Yeah. I mean, for at least two, yeah. Right, so... Uh, they're not accustomed to being four and seven, but uh, again, they're formidable. Don't 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 look at that four and seven record. I think this is going to be easy. It's not. All right. Well, let's take just a uh, little bit of a break here. We'll come back. We've got about six minutes to go before the start of this one. Be back with more here from Rochester High School. John Pine and the Cats as the All American with the play of the national anthem. Let's meet both teams. First, the Mechanical Lady Braves and All-Stars. Number 23, Alyssa Burner. Number 4, Haley Maven. Number 6, McKenzie Noel. Number 10, Emma Kepler. Number 12, Haley Jones. Number 17, Ella Santos. Number 18, Kendall Bowman. And number 21, Rihanna Jernigan. The starters, number two, Lily Maple. Number three, Avery Miller. Number five, Bailey Carson. Number nine, Kayla Rosson. Number 19, Riley Hare. And number 20, Eric Landon. The kind of fourth case was just a net pass. Starting lineups are set. 
And we are getting ready to go here. Varsity matchup between the Braves and your Rochester Zebras here at Rochester High School. I want to say they were about, was it 20... 16 or 2017 when Aaron Cashin was the coach. McConaughey went 9-0 and and Rochester went 8-1 in the TRC. And in the matchup, McConaughey and McConaughey won something like 15-10 in the fifth set. So, I mean, they were by far the two best teams in the TRC that year. Mm -hmm. And that was a really, really good Rochester team that I think lost something like 32-6 and six that year. Yeah. And I'm guessing they probably end up losing to Covington. <laughs> It uh, seemed like they were kind of their nemesis. I think, in, uh, be, I think it was your barges to beat Covington here okay. in the in the regional when they f lost the first two sets and came back to win in five. All right, we're underway here with the varsity matchup. Houston with the serve. And that one put away for the Braves. Start off with the point. Lily Maple back to serve for the Braves. That was a nice attack by Maple. She didn't she didn't have a great angle at that. You know, it was one thing that impressed me on the JV. There's a nice placement there by Hughes. They were really good about coming uh, across at weird angles. Mm -hmm. I mean, they had two or three of them here from this near side, you know, inside the attack line, way out of bounds, and they were somehow able to get yeah. those over, in, you know, inside the antenna. A wrestler misses that one, but that was not a good pass by McConaughey. That one put down by wrestler. Is it Rossler or wrestler? I've always said wrestler. Wrestler. I'll go with I, you. I wasn't that. invited to the family reunion this year, so. Yeah. Clayne <laughs> on the serve for the Braves. Pick up the third point of the match. Hughes gets the placement. That was a big hit, and it's good to see her get that in. We've seen some times yeah. where she doesn't get quite on top of that, and yeah, that was that was what was mentioned during the timeout again during that timeout against the pre match. Hit on top of the ball, don't hit underneath it. <laughs> Kleppinger misses long, and Rochester leads four three. Kuskasekis with that serve and back again here to serve for the Zebras. Oh, good job. Somehow Kuskasekis got her hand underneath that one. And then not able to dig that one out. There's a big hit there by a wrestler. The old pancake by Kuskasekis. Yeah. Miller with the serve for the Braves. Great dig by Maple. I think that was three. I think it had to go over by Houston. Yeah. Good alertness there. Just a little long for Hughes. Miller still serving here with the Braves up one. 
That one's going to go long. Emily's a senior. She never really served until this year. Not part of the serving rotation. That one's going to go long. Buker with a long hit, and Rochester back in front, 6-5. You know, sometimes it's it's hard to get into that serving rotation. You just you kind of get out of it, and there was a lot of really good servers. Coleman with the kill. I mean, to her credit, there was just a lot of really good servers in front of her. Yep. Kennedy leap now, but now in there. That one put down by Thomas. That was kind of an inexplicable free ball by McConaughey. That was, it looked like they could have attacked that and they just lobbed it over. Well, Lexi did a nice job of taking advantage of that. Lexi said, I'm not lobbing anything. Nice serve, ace for Hughes. Use it or lose it. Nine five now, Rochester on a nice run here behind the serve of Hughes. They're, they're Hughesing it right now. And she drops it. I mean, there wasn't anything special about that one. I mean, the placement was great, but McConaughey just kind of got caught watching the paint dry. I mean, they just were kind of standing there in that back row. I expect we're going to be seeing a timeout here pretty quick, wouldn't you? Coleman with the kill, and we don't usually use the word Hughes and dig in the same sentence, but that was a heck of a dig by Emily. That was not easy. Yeah. That was off to her left, and she was able to reach out and control it. Oof, I got a piece of her face. And that one's wide. Seven or eight now for Hughes. Eight points in a row, seven serves in a row. And there is a timeout with the Zebras leading 12-5 here in set number one off of the great serves from Emily Hughes. We'll take a quick break here with them and be back in just a moment on RTC TV4. Here's a look at the senior Emily Hughes. Seven serves in a row for Emily. Eight straight points for the Zebras, and they lead 12-5 coming out of the McConaughey timeout. Oh. Uh, even the overpass works for them. When you're hot, you're hot. Yeah. What do you call that, an overpass kill? Yeah, free ball. I call it a free ball kill. Yeah, yeah, an overpass kill probably. But free oh. ball means you're trying to make it seem like a free ball. That wasn't even trying to be a free ball. That was just lucky. Well, I say on the golf course, it's uh, sometimes better to be lucky than good. That one's going long. Everything going the zebra's way yeah. here in set number one. Jernigan misses that one. Ten straight now. And an ace for Hughes. There's a little variety in Hughes' serve. Uh, you know, so we've seen the fastball and we've seen a few change-ups. Yeah. And the change-up was what really threw yeah. him off. Oh, great play by Miller. And that one's into the net. And Miller did a nice job of digging that out, but uh, not able to get it across. Oh, 
sloppy. Another timeout from McConaughey. Emily's going to have to go see her mom after this, uh, get some ice for her shoulder. She's uh, mm -hmm. been dominating here for the Zebras. Seventeen yeah. five. We've Just really five seen four. Emily. Yeah, we've seen Emily really just person. You know, as a kid, it's again. It, that's what the fun part of my job is. You get to meet these kids as young, and they they you know they they grow up not only physically in front of you, but in terms of their personality and their right. their mentality. They grow up in front of you, and it was interesting. You know, Emily was. It was interesting. The more I talk to Emily, the more she sounds like her mother. <laughs> she has that. Uh, with, the, with the accent, too? Yeah, with the accent, really? too, even, yeah. And, uh, you know, saying that, it, saying, hey, we had to get together because it wasn't about volleyball skill at that point. It was, we know we played volleyball before. We know, we know, what, we know how to do it. It's just, it was the confidence part, the mental part. That one's out. You know, we still got a long ways to go. Just really nice to see. Man, there's the fastball. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thomas with a big block. Conoqua finally had a little bit of the attack going, and Thomas just stuffs it. Yeah, they kind of sh Rochester shanked a dig and wound up winning that point anyway. Is that her 14th serve? Thomas with the kill. I want to do a, a highlight reel for Rochester Zebras volleyball this first yeah, set. Yeah, it's Could yeah, be the it's whole been thing. It. Oh, that was a <laughs> that was a side spinner. That was different from the the other serves. She's bringing out the entire repertoire. She might just send this one home. And. Man, Coleman's court vision is very good. And it goes to show you, you don't need that cannon to get a lot of kills. Yeah. 18 straight points. Tight. So that was the 18th. This is the 19th serve for Emily Hughes. Oh, two away. She gets a well-deserved break on the bench. Good tip coverage, Kuskuskegas. And the Braves able to put that one down. That was Maple. That was almost a ding dong. Oh, <laughs> what a play by Bollinger. She's just getting back from digging that other one out. Oh, I thought that was a double. Well, that was almost a ding-dong play by McConaughey. And that one is out. Audrey Bollinger on that play. She was clear over here on the near side, almost in the bleachers, sprinted all the way back to her spot on the right side and got a dig. That was an amazing uh, hustle play there by the freshman. Yeah. 
set point here in set number one, 24 7. And they close it out 25 7 in set number one. And they just they don't let anything hit the floor. No. How many balls hit the floor on Rochester side of the court in that first set? One or two? Yeah, it wasn't many. They definitely, I tell you what, that's a different team than I saw, what, a week and a half ago? Yeah. At Southwood? Mm hmm. Wow. Impressive. We'll take a break and come back with set number two here from Rochester High School in just a moment. So Maple going to start it here for the Braves. But the, I would imagine the getting some offensive variety has got to be one of the topics that Coach Metcalf talked with the team. The other is just got to be passing, passing, passing. I know we're still in the heart of volleyball season, but four weeks from yesterday, girls' basketball practice starts. Yeah. Lee puts it down. Great job there by Kennedy Lee. Yeah. Yeah, they were hitting a lot of fly balls to center field in those previous matches. Now they're they're really placing the the attacks well. Off the block and down. They've got to get wrestlers some swings. Yeah. You know, we said her name quite a bit early in set one, but once Hughes got going, I don't remember saying her name at all. In fact, I had to look back down at the roster because I kind of forgot her number. And the kill for Hughes. I haven't decided. Is that just a really, really soft set from McConaughey, or does that almost look like he, like she's bringing that too far in? Uh, she's right on the right on the border. I've heard that called like double dish or double dipping or double dishing. Yeah. Kuskasakis goes in two. Kind of claws awake on that one. Oh, Hughes tried to dip it down. Point for the Braves. Excellent dig there by Carson. Miller back to serve for McConaughey. She Car Bailey Carson reacted very quickly there for McConaughey. Hughes. She's really getting on top of the ball. I mean, when she gets on top of the ball and gets that placement down, mm -hmm. she's she's deadly. Nice serve by Kuskasekis. Well, the, on that point, they made Miller make the pass, and she kind of got knocked out of the play right away. Kuskasekis long on that one. Wrestler back to serve for the Braves. That was a nice hit by Coleman. 
I think that was going out. Oh. <laughs> and a little long. And an ace. Wrestler puts the Braves back up 5-4. There have not been many of them in these last two matches plus the first set and a half here. Seems like we were at 5-4 with the Braves ahead last set. Mm -hmm. Houston can't get the dig. Wrestler long. And Hughes back to serve. Sophomore Landrum back to serve for the Braves. Good dig by Houston. And that's a double. double. Puts that one down off of the Rochester block. Nice dig there by Landrum. I think what McConaughey seems to be getting, uh, catching Rochester out of system a little bit more here in this mm -hmm. second set. 10-5 favor of the Braves. Nice tip there by Kleppinger. <laughs> Thomas puts that one home. Kleppinger, I, you kind of, I was like, wait a minute, are we at Pioneer? You know, she won't get necessarily credit for anything there, but Kylie Coleman, with that attack down the line, caught McConaughey off guard, and they wanted him kind of botching the dig, and they had to free, free ball it over, and that led to the opening for Thomas. Hare again with the kill. Carson serving for the Braves. There they called it. Again, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, what's a double or... That didn't look a whole lot different from some of the ones that weren't called. Right. Well, let's see if they, you know, what they do on the next one. Oh, 
off the block and down. Houston is serve. Zebras trailing 8 12. Good recovery. Boy, Bradley there. does that so well. Uh, just, oh. It looked like that was going down, and Bradley just came out of nowhere and was able to, uh, to dig that out, save that point for the Zebras. Leap with the attack on two, and I think McConaughey got it off guard. Somebody got a face full of volleyball right there. Oh, a big hit by Hughes. The hitting efficiency has just been very, very good for Rochester in this match so far. Oh, Sells, nice dig. Off the block. Hughes again. Zebra's back within one. Well, set one, it was Hughes. Set two, well, Hughes was got the, Hughes got the kill, but it was a free ball earlier in the point that just kind of caught McConaughey off guard. It was, they didn't know whether to let it go or to hit it, and then when the, by the time they did, they didn't know how to handle it. As uh, Miller there. The kill to put McConaughey back up 13-11. Maven back to serve. And right inside. Great placement by Leap. Leap really disguises her shot well. I don't think. You know, sometimes you're, you're trained to read the hand of the opponent. I, I don't think McConaughey can tell where Leap is going when she raises her hand. Yeah. Or raises her arm. Coach's daughter. Houston, what a hustle play there by Kylie. Nobody wanted to give up on this one. Hughes with the lefty. Now, how's that not a double? Harder in point for the Braves, back up by two. Yeah, I mean, they, they earned that point. Boy, did they. Kenzie Bradley had about two or three really nice digs in that point. Wow, just an, an overpass, and McConaughey just let it fall out of the sky. Oh, great placement that time. Coleman yeah, ties it up. Coleman's signature shot, that kind of that spinner from yeah. – um, Outside to the opposite pin. Just like that, the zebra is all the way back and in front, 15 14. Oh, no. great play. Oh, 
Oh, it's in. The McConaughey player was yelling out, 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 and it landed. In and in. Yeah. Oh, short. It ended a run of five straight Rochester points. Great pass, Houston. And Lily Maple with the block. Stuff. Off the block and down. The M&M girls, Miller and Maple. Long on that serve, gives it back over. Hughes going back for the Zebras. Wrestler's serve, she hasn't kind of gotten her own serve figured out yet. That's four. Yep. Off the tape. Maple saw the block and couldn't get it over. Great play, wrestler. And down, Thomas with the block. 2017, Rochester with the lead. And that, you know, again, she doesn't, it's nothing to show up on the stat sheet, but Emily Hughes with a nice back row attack there. We haven't seen a lot of back row attacks from Rochester this year, but that was a good one. Got McConaughey off balance. They're off balance the rest of the point. She's and another really one. Uh, done a nice job of working herself into yeah. a six position player. Yeah. Good dig there by Maple. Well, see, I don't know. It looked like the same one they called, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what a play by Miller. I need to reset my timer to get this one on replay. And down. Points are not coming easy for either side. They're earning them. Avery Miller had to be like uh, Alex Deming there. Just he had to run. She had to run over a teammate to get to a set. She got it there. That's a miss sir by Landrum, and that's. That could be costly. And just wide. Good serve by Coleman. Carson with the serve. Thomas with the kill. Good to see Lexi feeling better. And that's clearly a sign of it. Yep. Coach Metcalf still has both of her timeouts left. Sells. 
Good dig. Leap able to keep it alive. And out off the block. Maple serving. Braves down one. Malik sends it down. Uh, Rochester just reactive on their toes. They've been playing that way all night. They just seem to be coming off the ground quicker. Battle at the net. Boy, there's just nothing going down easy, is there? No. Nope. Another hard earned point for the Zebras. Set point here, set number two. Houston into the net. Zebras have another set point here, 24-21. Maben with the serve. And that'll do it here for set number two. Boy, Kennedy Leap is just playing great volleyball tonight. She is, she is just everywhere and not afraid of the big moments. Zebras win set two, 25-21. Have a two set to zero lead as we move into the third here at Rochester. We'll take a break and come back for that third set here in just a moment on RTC TV. Back here at Rochester High School as we move into set number three, the Zebras lead two sets to zero. And a couple quick volleyball, or excuse me, a couple quick football notes. Winnemac moves up from number five to number four in the Class 1A poll. I'm okay. sure we'll be talking about this in talking sports, but Winnemac moves up one spot even though they didn't, I haven't played in two weeks. Right. North Judson dropped from number seven to number eight. Houston starts off in the net. Point for the Braves. Timmy Valley stays at number nine in class 3A. After their win over North Judson. Houston gets sat down for her uh, efforts on that one, and 2-0 start here for the Braves. The wrestlers are a lot more comfortable from the outside than from the middle of the opposite. Well, Maple has been solid on the service here tonight. Yeah. That was a rare passing mistake. So the Braves start off 4-0 here in set three. You call that a good hair day? What? Riley hair. You call ah, it a good hair day? Gotcha. Any day I still have some, it's a good hair day for me anymore. Oh, big hit from Hughes. Key to that point was Bailey Carson. She had two amazing digs on that play. Yes. Oh. 
And Houston with a big dig, and the Zebra is able to break the serve of Maple. Was that a stop by Kuskusakis? Yes, it was. Holloway going to serve here for the Zebras. Nice job getting that across. Oh. Little indecision that time by Landrum. Ding dong. But again, McConaughey is hitting entirely from the outside, so that allows you to set up your block a lot quicker. I think their attack is 85% from the left, isn't it? I, I haven't really seen anything from them yeah. coming from the right. And we noticed that with the Peru match the other night on Saturday as well. Everything came from the left. Hmm. They were not comfortable hitting from the opposite. And that makes things easier for the block. It makes things easier for everybody. Well disguised shot there by Coleman. <laughs> Even at that, it was uh, still dug up, but just not able to get it across. 6-3 here, Braves lead, set three. Kuskasakis to serve for the Zebras. Off the tape and down. <laughs> wow, what a dig by Houston. Bowling down. Wow. She just keeps doing more mature things every time you see her. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't look like a freshman. Like Kylie Houston looked like the best libero in this conference. Miller with the dump. They lead 7-4. Miller back to serve for the Braves. Sends that one long. Sends Hughes back. Seavers trailing by one. I'm gonna say two, now one. Seven, six. Getting that side spinner. It's like a like a change-up almost, like a split-finger fastball. <laughs> well, they're going to call the lift on the Braves, tied at seven. And that was, again, the threat of the block by Lexi Thomas that forced Miller to lift it. Oh, there's the fastball. And the Zebras in front for the first time here in the third set. That's kind of been the M.O. of uh, the first two sets. You know, McConaughey kind of went out with a flurry, and then Rochester battled back. Kind of reeled them in. Yep. Let's see if they can do it in this third set. Coleman's shots are just sneaky fast. Yeah. Thomas with the kill. I mean, you don't you don't expect it to come out of her, you know, off that hit as, as hard as it does. And yeah, and again, the variety of shots. I mean, McConaughey, you're they're scrambling left, scrambling left, scrambling left, and then Thomas hits it to the right. It's a uh, like misdirection. Well, and I, I think that's where they have the advantage over McConaughey because. Like I said, 90% of theirs is coming from the mm -hmm. left going across court to the right. Just gives Rochester that much more opportunity to get set. If McConaughey doesn't win this point, I think Coach has got to call timeout. Yeah, 
Lift. Uh, this is dangerous time if you're Maconaqua. It's 11 7 now. There's an attack from the right. And long. Maybe thinking timeout here if you're McConaughey. Gonna keep going. Eight, seven. eight straight points. She did not call timeout at all in set two. He's recapturing some of that thunder from set number one. Seven straight for Hughes, eight straight points for the Zebras, 13-7 here in set number three. Timeout by the Braves. We'll take one with them and be back here in just a moment on RTC. All right, welcome back here to Rochester High School. Zebras, 13, McConaughey seven here in set number three. Nine straight points, Emily Hughes. Her serving has been the story of this match. An 18-point serving run in set one and an eight-pointer so far here in set three. Miller goes in one. Smart play by Miller. You would think after a timeout, you wouldn't think that, you know, go for the dump. Yeah. Smart play by a senior. So the Braves get two in a row, back to within four. Wrestler serving, and that one into the net. Coleman back to serve. And you know, sometimes it's just, you know, you're down 13-9, set three, and you just want to make it a perfect serve, and those sorts of things happen. Yeah. You wind up hammering it into the net. You Oh, what a play by wrestler. He even touch that. That's one of the flattest serves across the net that I've seen. Yeah. I mean, just big time serve by Kylie Coleman. That was yeah. that was Hughes esque. <laughs> Leap. And Leap has just been drilling the ball here tonight. 16-9. Houston ready on that one. Was that Leap on that one again? It was. I wasn't sure it actually touched the McConaughey player, but the official was right there. I mean, he had, a, he had a great view of the play. Thomas. And that one goes long. Looks like Tiffany Valley has defeated Culver in straight sets over at Valley. It's a Valley team having a really good year. They are undefeated in conference play, correct? Mm -hmm. They still have some tough ones in front of them, but. Yep. Including both of these teams. No, excuse me, they beat McConkwa. They still have to play Rochester, though. Still have to play Wabash and Southwood. Right, they've got uh, eh, the top of the conference still to go with Southwood, obviously. MSL's full extension on the floor. 
All 5-2. Five, <laughs> or she 5-0. Five, five, oh. I think 5-2 is not quite accurate. I think more like 5 feet, maybe 5-1. Yeah, they got her at 5-0 on the roster. Well, again, if you're going to serve it right at Kylie Houston, and I mean, you're asking for trouble. I mean... Nice coverage by Miller. And Thomas finds the baseline. 2012. Oh, that was a heck of a set by Miller. Maple got the kill. Carson to serve for the Braves. Look at that. Set might have even deflected off the net slightly. That's a good adjustment there by Lexi Thomas. I think she was wanting to go outside and saw Kuskaseka set that on the inside. Was able to make that adjustment and get the kill. Nice directional serve there from Houston, but the kill for the Braves. Another great pass by Bailey Carson there. That was very good. Leap. Good dig there by the Braves. And off the block and down. Kill for Wrestler. Braves hanging in here, 21 15. This is the good rotation for McConaqua. Oh, she that might was have going got, out. Yeah. Carson with a nice job of digging that out. And oh. The uh, lines person said in, the both officials said out. Yeah. So that's. Kus Kasekis. And point to the Zebras, 22-16. All the way back to serve. Coleman Long on that one. Again, the, the ball handling has not been a problem for Rochester, even this set. It's just a little bit inefficient. That was efficient. That was, yeah, that was <laughs> br brutally efficient.
Hughes puts that home, makes it 23-17. Kuskasekis with a chance here to close this one out with two good ones. And off and out. Match point for Rochester. And, you know, McConaughey, they're all on their heels. They're thinking Hughes is going to clobber the ball, and she just floats one in beautifully there. Beautiful tip. And off the tip and down. So the Braves stay alive. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> and the service error and the Rochester Zebras win set three, 25 18. And they win the match in three sets 25 7, 25 21, 25 18.